Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today's May 26, 2020. Uh, I forgot to take my camera today to my other studio and uh, that's why the news are from my uh, normal studio, not the news setup. So first of all, mention the channel sponsor, Camera Store is sponsoring the news. So you can go check it out. They still have a bunch of gear. They're listing every day. Uh, I'm tempted every day. And uh, we made a video with Camera Rescue this week. Um, well, I actually posted on Sunday, going over the top 35 cameras that they had most searches on through Google. And we went from number 35 to 25. If you're interested, it's, I think, a you know normal video that you can watch, maybe hear about why maybe some of the cameras are on the list, or maybe you're curious what people are searching for. So yeah, that's going to be listed below. Then there's uh, news from Alvandi making a shutter tester. Alvandi is a camera maker and inventor tinkerer from Iran. And he's made a camera tester that looks pretty cool. It's like a little table that I guess has a light source and a sensor that goes on the other side of the camera. Um, and I'm pretty impressed of how it looks. It doesn't look like the normal do it yourself kind of setup. So if you're interested in something like that, you can go and check it out. Then there's another analog shutter tester that I found a while ago, someone wrote me about it and it looks like it's coming soon. So I'm gonna leave the link below. Uh, it doesn't have a name right now, APC Shutter Tester, but you can go check it out. This is way more of a electronic small kind of thing that you put on the back of your camera and that way you can meter how, you know, your shutter's doing and so on. Then we have news from Negative Supply. They've come out with a basic riser. So they had the Pro Riser, which was the, actually, give me a sec. This Pro Riser, I had it here. It's a good thing about being in my normal studio. They had this Pro Riser, guys, and they've come out with a basic, which is cheaper, it starts at 149, and this one, which is the Mark I, has gone up in price, which I hadn't noticed. It went from 199, if I'm not wrong, to I think 249, and now they even have complete sets, which I don't know what it means. Maybe someone builds it for you at 329 and then um, that's the Mark II now. And uh, adjustable little feet uh, from aluminum that is like 329 and then three, I, it's not easy to understand on the website, but you can go check it out. They have these new products. If that was something you're looking for, maybe you like the design. I have a review coming on that one. There's a couple things I don't really enjoy on the design. It's a good product, but it could improve a little bit more. So maybe we'll see a Mark III with differences. Then we have um, Emulsive published the Leica M game. And I'm gonna say game because it's sort of a game. You have to give what preferences you have budget wise, frame line wise, uh, light meter, no light meter and so on. And it will give you a result on what's the perfect Leica for you. So, and anyone that's gotten into that world, you know that if you like 28 millimeter lines or you wanna have a light meter or maybe you'd wanna have clean 35 millimeter frame lines and such, it's kinda of complicated to understand it all. And Mulsiv did an amazing job putting them all together and making like a quiz game that you basically fill in. I think it's super cool. I mean, wanna make a video on it specifically to do exactly what he did. So he's saved me a lot of time from researching and yeah, you can go check it out, what sort of Leica would be for you. Then we have a one instant update. Basically, they've updated that they've made a bunch of one instant, but there's big problems shipping it currently due to what's happening in the world uh, economically. So I think this mostly affects the North American uh, crowd. So probably uh, the USA and Canada, maybe Mexico. Uh, or the, the rest of America. It says, I think, North America. So if you're one of those backers, you might have to wait a little bit longer for the one instant. Then we have, talking about one instant, we have Instax wide for four by five sliding back. So this is pretty cool. And let me bring something out. So uh, if you've ever seen for four by fives, and this is a six by nine, they have, uh, now it's when I forget how to open this back. Let me see, I haven't done this in a while. There we go. 
So when you've seen like four by five backs and you have your back, some backs or cameras used to have a back that was rotating and I actually have one in the shelf but I'm not gonna get up again. Um, and basically what you could do was focus on something, then rotate the whole device. It was a pretty big device, like a lazy, uh, you guys call it lazy Susan or something like that? I'm not sure. Someone could correct me in the comments. You turn it around and you can straight up shoot. What does that mean? It means that from composing and focusing to shooting, it's basically a spin, cock the shutter, close the shutter and shoot. So it's very fast, which for large format is a huge benefit. This was mostly used for studio photography, but I really like this idea of this Instax wide camera that's jammed into one of these. You can focus, compose, you know, turn it around and then shoot. So if that's something that interests you, I'm gonna leave the link below. It looks like it's a one-off, but if it's not, uh, I hope he makes more. It's not cheap, it goes around 700 bucks, but if you really wanna shoot uh, instant film on a four x five, which I think is one of the coolest things out there, uh, it's not that expensive because that would be around 70 uh, one instant shots and 70 Instax wide shots are like $70. So you're saving quite a lot of money there after hundred shots, for example. Um, then there's another device that I found on a Facebook group, a 3D printing Facebook group. That's the 120 film helper. I've named it myself, there's no name. So basically it's some sort of late, uh, you know, tray that holds your 120 roll and keeps the backing paper out of the way and then loads into a Patterson tank with just one hand. As I said, this kind of thing I think is really interesting for people that might be uh, handicapped or have some issues with their hands. I think 120 film can be loaded super easily once you've done like five rolls, but I always tend to forget that there's people that are impaired for one reason or another that might wanna shoot film and develop. So this might be a really cool device for them because someone could help them and then they could load their own film and whatnot. So. If that's the case, uh, this could be a lifesaver for a lot of people, honestly. And I don't think people should think only about the ease of like, yeah, my two hands work fine, I can do it anytime. You have to think of people that their two hands don't work so fine and don't have you know that capacity and don't wanna pay for external developing. So yeah, guys, that's the news for this week. Oh, one quick thing that I'm gonna mention. Uh, you might notice at the bottom of the video that says join, I made the community tab an option now. So if you feel like being a Patreon, but on YouTube, which is basically what it is, you can go there and you'll have a little nice cool uh, badge when you go and comment on the video. And once a month I'll do a live stream and I'm gonna go back to the live streams for Patreon too. So, you know, it'll be one on one but I know a lot of people don't like Patreon for whatever the reason, and now Patreon is gonna start taxing and it's complicated. So if you feel like doing it on YouTube, it's an easier platform because you already have an account here. Uh, you can go ahead and you know click that donate. It's not a donation, it's like a subscription to the channel. So yeah, guys, that's all for the news. Uh, if you have any information or anything that remember, I would be very grateful and happy for you to send me an email. One quick thing, someone did send me an email. There's like four days left. RZ Mago has a special discount on the lab box for students. I forgot that one. I think Carlos told me from Madrid. So thank you, Carlos. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for this non-standard new setup. I know a lot of people like this better than the other one, but the suit is not going anywhere. So yeah, no news, no suit news this week for you guys. Uh, have a great week. Bye, guys. This camera took me like 25 minutes to set up here. I had to flip the screw on the ball head and it looks like the screw was stripped. So yeah, Mamiya C330. I have two which are pretty beat up and I'm trying to build one out of two. Let me know guys if I should do that or I should just sell them for junk uh, or parts to camera rescue and camera store. So yeah guys, for those who stayed, that's a little interesting fact. And this Polaroid I've never used and it why doesn't it have a tripod screw? Like it should have a tripod screw, whatever.